Hi, this is Amanda from Barocco, and I'll be demonstrating how to work the marquee scarf using Barocco Lacy Metallic. This scarf is worked in two halves and then joined at the center. So the first step for this scarf is to divide your hank into two close to equal halves. I have a hank of Lacy right here, and both Lacy and Lacy Metallic come in a big round circle when you first remove the label. So there's where the edge is. And to divide that in half, I'm going to go to the point where the knot is tied with the two ends. And I'll untie it. And then I'll remove this little connecting tie. And so now I have the two ends and I can see that there are a certain number of layers here. So I'll count one from each outside. There's one, two, three, four, five, so I've counted it out, and these are my two center pieces. So I'll choose one of them and just use my scissors to cut right across the open part, right here. Now I've divided it into two halves, and I would use the outside strand and begin rolling up my yarn so that I have two balls. Now that I've divided the hank, I'm ready to start knitting the first half of the scarf. A couple things to remember while working are that we're going to be using the loops along this side of the fabric, not the metallic side. Also, we're going to be using only loops that occur in the wide open areas, not the denser parts of the yarn. And we're going to use one loop from each wide open area. And when you use one of these loops, make sure to insert your needle underneath both the black chain and the colored yarn so that it stays extra secure. To start, roll the first inch or so of yarn up on itself and insert the needle through all the layers. Then insert the needle through the next available loop and use the left hand needle to pull the old loops up and over the first stitch and off the tip of the needle. Now I have one stitch and I'm ready to insert my needle through the next four available loops. Five stitches are on the needle. Now I'll turn and I'm ready to start knitting. So insert the needle into the first stitch and then put the next available loop onto the right hand needle and knit it. And repeat this process across the row. One row is done, so now I'll turn and I will continue repeating this process until I have about three to six inches of yarn left in this half. So I just finished a row and I have about three inches of yarn left. So now what I'm going to do is decrease down to one stitch. First, I'll insert my needle into the second stitch on the other needle and pull it up and over the first stitch and off the needle. I'll repeat this with the other stitches.
Now I'm down to one stitch. I'm going to kind of widen it a little bit and pull the rest of my yarn through that stitch. So here's my first half with the tail. And here's the tail of my second half. And now I'm going to knot these two tails together. Now that I've knotted the two ends together, I can thread them onto each end onto a tapestry needle. And use the needle to thread the end underneath some of these ruffles. And I'll repeat the process with the second tail and do it on this side. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.